Welcome back, everyone. Drake's upcoming interview with Bobby Althoff is already making waves online, and we've got some juicy snippets for you. Their deadpan and casual demeanor is both awkward and hilarious. Let's dive in. During the interview, Bobby asks Drake for a couple more questions, and he jokes about kicking her out. But the twist, Bobby reveals she missed her daughter's first birthday to be here. All right, be... you got that. All right, ask me a couple more Are you things. kicking me out? I'm just saying, like, you know. I flew all the way here. You did. I really do appreciate On my daughter's that. first birthday. I wasn't going to bring that up. Mm -hmm. You missed your daughter's first birthday. For to this. be here. Dark. Dark. Regret that you'll never be able to undo. Yeah. Horrible parenting. Where's your son? Somewhere safe, and it's not his birthday. When's his birthday? What does it matter? It ain't today. The chemistry between Drake and Bobby is undeniable, but it's hard to tell what's a joke and what's serious. Their casual banter keeps us on our toes. I don't know any other questions. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Not for me? really. Not really. It's probably probably best you skid out of home to be Are mother gonna of the buy year, me a right? Flight home? You're gonna buy me a flight home. I can do that. It's the least I could do. Can it be nonstop? Hmm? Nonstop. Is was that like a was that like a like the song? No. What song? The Drake song, nonstop. Do you think it's funny when you reference your own song? No, I thought people you... can use that word and it doesn't mean your song. <laughs> I just thought that you were ending the interview on a note where you were like, uh -huh. "Haha, I actually do know your songs." No. You were just asking. I don't for a know flight. your songs. Okay. All right. I got excited. No. Okay. Drake's influence reaches far beyond interviews. Other artists, like Ice Spice, see him as a mentor, valuing his advice and experiences in the industry. Drake's silence on certain social issues has sparked discussions. Ebro clarifies that he doesn't expect him to be a full-on social activist, but hopes for more self-awareness when he does engage in those conversations. I don't know how I feel about Drake who has never shown up, and y'all know I'm the biggest Drake fan on this show. Drake has never shown up to have anything to say about anything going on in society with black folks or anything other than himself. So now you have an issue. I get you having an issue with child just can't be no if what you're saying is fact. But fam, the song was supposed to be a joke diss. It didn't actually happen. Mm -hmm. So why are you in your feelings about it and taking shots at a song? It was that, like five years late. Like the song came out what, 18, 19? Yeah, but I think the Childish Gambino interview just happened a few months ago. So it's yeah, still so relevant. It's only because in that he context. addressed it right okay. now. But I don't know, it, it didn't actually happen. Nothing actually happened. Right. It's a little tricky for him to target this song, to your point, because we've had this conversation before, right? You know, artists like Kendrick are going to be the people to have that conversation and address things. J. Cole's going to yeah, do it. Yeah. Drake has never stepped his foot in those yeah. waters, and he may or may not never step. And by the way, at this point, we're not expecting you exactly. to. That's not you. I, like, even so if he does, I wouldn't give a fuck. I don't know if that Like, even if he mind. does attempt to, it's just like, bro, like, that's not what you do. Mm. You don't do that. And you waited this long to do it. Yeah, you're the one of the greatest uh, uh, and IG and caption and rappers. In history, which we're going to get to his poetry book in a second, you're also one of the most successful rappers yeah. that we've ever seen. That's, that's how we, we measure the bar. That. Yeah. That's how we measure the bar yeah, of rap success. That. And yeah. that's cool. And if you don't choose to do, if you don't choose to address social injustice, you know, the things that go on with police brutality, if you don't choose to address that, that's okay. But for someone that did, yeah. someone who caught that window and said, this is what people are thinking and they're feeling, I don't think it's it's kind of whack for you to say it's over. Well, and the song's radio. called This Is America. And you're not fun. You're Canadian, bro. <laughs> well, there you have it. Drake's upcoming interview with Bobby Althoff promises to be full of surprises and humor. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest news on Drake.